Hello Virgo! Welcome to your reading for the first half of the month April. As usual, we're going to read the coffee cup and we will clarify with two decks of cards, meaning the tarot deck and the playing cards deck. So let's proceed to see what this period of time has for you. Uh, first of all, I see someone thinking about a commitment with a person whose name starts with an R. Your name may uh, start with an A and you are thinking about this commitment in one point. Maybe in one point you will think about meaning one day, one week, even one month for some of you because I don't see a point, I see the number one and I see, uh, I see you wishing to, to, to propose this commitment in one point. So the, this may also be one month or maybe in one month you will realize that you actually want a commitment with this person. The point is that <coughs> this person is not quite decided if she or he wants to have this commitment with you also. Uh, as I said, the name of this person may start with an R. Uh, this person turned their back on you but they are not walking away. They're sitting there. Maybe you have upset this person with something. Maybe you did something wrong to this person. But the thing is that you want this commitment with this person. And you, uh, you think about this commitment a lot. You are a lot in your mind about this, uh, this subject, uh, uh, subject, about this commitment. You're a bit afraid that this person may deny you the chance of uh, having this commitment. Maybe it is, uh, you're afraid that maybe this person had enough and is not willing to come back to you. Um, and yes, you are afraid in regards to this situation. Um, also, in the house area, Again, you appear with your, um, your fear. You are definitely afraid of losing this person. And um, again, this person appears with their back turned on you, but they, again, they don't show up as walking away from you. Maybe this relationship didn't work and you just said or maybe your partner said let's just be friends and now the 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 relationship is stuck into the friend zone and you don't know how to maybe you don't know how to take this relationship from the friend zone to um, a real commitment and you want to do this but you are afraid that maybe the the person that you like and you care for may say no Uh, I see you, I see you wishing for this new beginning, uh, but you want a new beginning in two, in two levels of your life. You want a new beginning in the love life, maybe, as we see here and maybe in the I don't know career area or maybe you want to, to buy a new house or maybe you want to um, um, change the job or you want two accomplishments two two new beginnings to two, two destinies that you want to totally change so and there's a lot of um, a lot of energy um, in this uh, in this house area for the moment it's a lot of energy that you have in your mind that you project into the universe and um, there are many many things that you wish for um, and um, yes you want this because you appear here with this person uh, whose name starts with an R this person is 
uh, finally not looking, uh, doesn't have their back turned on you as they had until now. They're finally looking at you. And uh, you have a new beginning in front of you and this person. And next to that, uh, you have, as you should know by now if you've been following me for a while, but if you're new and you don't know, the new beginning appears as a child. Uh, you have a child, <coughs> excuse me, you have a child in front of you and this new person and this partner of yours. And next to the to this trio, triangle, you and the, the two and the kid, there's another kid. So either you are uniting your new beginnings, your destinies, uh, and you are finally deciding to have a relationship, or you wish for two new beginnings. Uh, for the future, uh, I see the name of this person, the, 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 not the name, the letter, R again. Um, and I see this person like, like pulling you out of the darkness. Maybe you're going through some difficult times and this person is willing to, to help you uh, because uh, I think that the, the, the male energy in this reading is really down, has a very low energy because I see uh, a man with a huge beard crying and um, either he has a very curly big hair or his mind is so um, charged and he's thinking so much and he's so much in his mind that uh, everything around him is dark. And it's, it appears like the feminine energy is actually managing to pull this man out of this darkness, which is beautiful. Um, You, you too may have someone following you or paying so much attention to you. Maybe it's, it's an, an ex-partner of the male energy because I see the male energy being dragged, pulled out from this darkness by the, the, the women energy. Uh, the, the male energy is thinking about a commitment and the women energy another woman energy is following these two but she's very envious and jealous for this commitment that this man wants to have with this woman so if you have someone if you are the man in this reading and you are the one that is being pulled out from the darkness by a woman uh, be careful and be aware of the fact that you have an uh, uh, an ex-partner or a jealous woman, could be also be your mother or your sister, uh, that is uh, following this relationship and she's uh, like projecting negative energy in this on this connection. Let's see what our um, cards have for us. Someone wants to, uh, to receive answers here. Someone is anxious because I'm kind of losing the grip on the cards. Uh, I see uh, men of suits pretty soon the energy of someone of suits pretty soon um, either you are the men of suits the king of suits can be a man with blue eyes green eyes but not necessary you can have the um, moral traits and less of the physical traits the man of suits is a man um, a very strong man with um, this man usually can be a um, strong attitude, uh, 
um, can slightly older um, is a strong energy and you may be this man and pretty soon you will take action towards something or something will come towards you pretty soon let's uh, see the, the full uh, spread I see here a non-official marriage or relationship, not marriage. So you've been into a non-official relationship with someone. Uh, you've got separated. Um, and the, the, the thing is that if there was king, two kings side by side, it would have meant an institution, a state person. And it could have meant a divorce, a legal divorce or a legal... Um, a legal issue uh, or or it could have mean uh, taking this relationship to the next level and getting married but everything is so all over the place you have an energy that is all over the place here in these cards you have a person the thought of someone of hearts someone of hearts green uh, uh, light brown eyes, uh, light brown hair light brown eyes you have on the uh, day uh, in the daytime then you have uh, person of clubs, uh, person of clubs, black eyes, black hair, white skin on the evening time. Then you have uh, again a person of uh, hearts, a person of suits, uh, pretty soon with a person of um, clubs. So this may be a work situation or a group thing that is happening. You, you have some events happening at work. Uh, you maybe you, you work in different places like every day you go to a different place because i kind of see lots of people uh maybe you don't have a fixed schedule at work because i see daytime uh night time evening time it's like uh everything a bit of everything let's shuffle the cards one more to, once more to see if we can get more messages You had uh, a story with a person of clubs, a woman. If you are a man, you had a story with this woman of clubs. This woman of clubs may be black hair, black eyes, white skin. She can be a um, Aries, Sagittarius, Leo. She is fire. This woman with um, a good words, a huge gift of money, and um, uh, a huge joy with a news for you. You leave all this behind. You don't want this. And you have in front of you this woman of suits. Woman of suits can be uh, blue, blue or green eyes. Um, she can also have slightly darker skin. The, the point is that you have this woman in front of you. Um, let's pull one more card to see what's happening. Oops. You have a, uh, an argument with this woman in your house. Or maybe you have an argument. No, you have an argument with this king of suits in your house. Leaving this woman behind, you have this, this, this argument with this king of suits. The king of suits is a man with blue eyes, green eyes. And... <clears throat> He's an authority, he can be a father, he can be uh, a boss, he can be... But due to the fact that he's in your house, this may be um, an older man in your family, someone, and he 
is in very grounded energy. We have the Ace of Suits. Um, yeah, you have an argument with this man. Maybe because of this breakup that you've been through. Maybe you get a divorce. Or, or as I said, it may be uh, an illegal relationship. So maybe you had a relationship with someone for a while. And you've got separated. You've never been official or legally married or engaged or something. You break up and then you have someone from your family being very upset with this. This is all we have in the playing cards. Let's see what the tarot deck has for us today. And for this um, reading... I'm going to pull one card for your energy, one card for the energy of this partner of yours that you tried to commit to. And that appears here as pulling you out of the darkness. Or maybe if you are the, the woman in this reading, maybe you are the one trying to pull someone out of the darkness. Keeping in mind that the um, energy, the male energy has someone keeping an eye on him and keeping an eye on this connection. Um, you have the lovers with the eight of cups in reverse um, the eight of cups in the in the reverse says that um, you're not ready to live um Perhaps it's not the time to walk away yet. Maybe you should go back to this situation until you understand the situation. And then you have the lovers. Maybe you've been in a connection with this person before. And you broke up. Maybe you are the one. Or this is the, 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 you're the one that finished this relationship and now you have to go back to this relationship to understand this better. Maybe this is why you are afraid, the male energy, you are the male energy and I'm referring to you. You are afraid to commit again, to, to, to go to make this commitment proposition because You've been in this relationship before and you've done something wrong. Maybe you were the one that left and now you are afraid to go back because this person may not uh, accept. You are afraid that this person will say no. Because after you left, you felt like there's something there still. And you've realized that you have to go back there because your, your mind and your soul don't let you go away. It is possible. Let's see. Your energy and the energy of your partner. Your energy. Commitment. Contract. Alliances. Who? Your partner. The power. Come on. So, the three of pentacles in the uprights means plans, collaborations, um, skills, uh, creation, building, creating. Um, yes, you want you want this commitment with this person. You want this with all your mind, and you see this person in this energy of the power. And of course, you are afraid because the power is the power. Come on, you are afraid that this woman. If you are the man in this reading and you are the one afraid to do this, uh, this to to ask the, for this commitment. You are afraid because you see this woman being so strong. And when a woman is so strong, you are afraid that she may not need you. She may not want you in her life anymore. And of course you are afraid. And much more if you've done something wrong to this woman in the past. If you've done something wrong, yes, you want to come back to this woman. And yes, you are afraid. But this woman is the power. But the... If you see here, she has the sign of the magician. 
She can manifest whatever she wants. And you realize that. And you know that. And if she receives you with uh, a tenderness, then you will be the luckiest man on earth. If she doesn't like you, you know that you, you've, you've lost any possibility to be with her ever. Okay, let's clarify these cards and see why is the Three of Pentacles here. So is the the judgment in reverse? <sighs> the judgment in reverse usually says something about misjudging. So, um, you want this contract and or this commitment with this person because you deeply believe that you've misjudged this person with the judgment in reverse. And now you are in the energy of the big priest and you... Um, The big priest or the hero font, and this is um, this is Taurus energy, uh, Earth Earth energy, and um, you are in the position now where you question everything. You don't accept the the the, the standard ways. You are not. Um, It's it's time in your mind. It's time for resolution. It's time to break the the rules and um, uh, think for yourself. You don't follow the the, the society patterns anymore. You um, um, you are being a rebel, and this is why maybe you know you've did something wrong to this to, towards this person. Um, you know you've judged and. Uh, you 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 didn't evaluate the situation properly, but um, yeah, you've misjudged. But now you are in this energy. You don't want rules. You break the rules. You don't care about the rules because you want this commitment. This is all you think about. You know you did wrong. But you are in this energy and you don't care about anything because you want this commitment. Let's see the energy of your partner to see how your partner or the, the partner that you wish for will respond to your, um, to your um, proposition of commitment. And if you will... Or to you, not to your proposition. You know what? I'm going to pull one more card here in the middle to see the energy of the relationship because I'm curious how this relationship will evolve. Let's see two cards for this energy. Your partner is on action uh, with the Knight of uh, Swords. Your um, your partner is in, in a very bold communication energy. So if you did something wrong to this person, this person will communicate it to you quite strong. Um, this is, um, but also this is a person. That is, is is pushing towards some goal. If if this person accepts you and they want to to be with you, uh, it's quite uh, good energy because you appear here. If you are if this is the male energy and this is the women energy, there's no surprise that she appears here like 
push pulling this man out of his darkness because this woman has the power first of all and she has the action and the will to act and she will act um the the king of pentacles in reverse um This woman may also be a bit of a control freak. It's possible. Um, she can be a bit bossy. Um, she can also be very orientated towards money, but towards her own money. And so she wants to have money. She doesn't want your money. She doesn't care for your money. She wants her own. But anyway, the, her energy in the, the dynamics of her energy will change. And she'll get to the, the energy of the Empress. And she will be in um, a very beautiful, delicate energy. Um, and uh, the Empress is feminine power, is abundance, is fertility, is uh, pregnancy, is marriage, is... Um, is rest, uh, it's, it's pleasure, it's... Um, is giving birth is is mother nature she's the, the the mother of all mothers and she will maybe she has like a transition maybe she'll be a bit mean to you because of something you did in the past and then she'll forgive you and she'll go to this mother of all mothers energy and let's see one card for this the energy of this uh, of this um, relationship because I feel like this is quite important. The energy of this relationship. Whew. Well, it's kind of passionate. This relationship is with passion. Um, the King of Wands is um, is mystery, is passion, um, it's creativity, is courage, is power, is leadership. Um, you two kind of make a power couple. You are um, you are in the hermit, uh, no, in the hero font energy, and she's in the in the empress uh, energy. I mean. Yeah, strong couple, and the the energy of the of the um, of the relationship is for the moment at least based on passion. But I think that further into the future, this commitment may be um, a very uh, beautiful one, and I think it will um, develop some beautiful, beautiful um, feelings starting from this passion and this is all i have for you my dear virgo and i hope you enjoyed this reading and i'll be back to you for our next reading goodbye